The upcoming Thunderbolts film is generating excitement among fans, with a star-studded lineup and the promise of a unique blend of heroes and anti-heroes. But what can we expect from this team of reformed villains and edgier missions? As we explore potential storylines and adaptations from the comics, the question arises. How will the Thunderbolts reshape the MCU landscape, and which characters will ultimately prove their loyalty in the face of adversity? So without further ado, let's jump in. The Thunderbolt movie is in the works for the MCU, and it's going to be directed by Jake Schreier and written by Eric Pearson, the genius behind Black Widow. Now in the comics, the Thunderbolts are this ever-shifting team led by General Thunderbolt Ross, aka Red Hulk. They're like a group of heroes and ex-baddies who team up for special missions. The cool thing is that the name Thunderbolts sticks, even if the faces change. They first teased this Thunderbolts film at Comic-Con, and it's set to hit theaters on July 26, 2024. But at that time, they didn't spill the beans on who'd be in the cast. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige promised more information would come our way, and guess what? It has. At D23, they unveiled the full Thunderbolts team, and it's a real treat. We're talking Yelena Belova, Red Guardian, U.S. Agent, Bucky Barnes, Ghost, and Taskmaster, all led by Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. They even showed us some concept art with the gang in their snazzy costumes. Red Guardian got a bit of a makeover too. When the actors hit the stage at D23, they had a few things to say about the upcoming Thunderbolts film, which is set to start filming in 2023. Sebastian Stan chimed in saying, These guys look like they've got some issues and Bucky knows a thing or two about that. You might remember Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, where he was on a path to redemption after his past as an assassin. Meanwhile, Falcon took up the Captain America mantle. U.S. Agent, also known as John Walker, made his first appearance in that series, and Yelena was last seen in Hawkeye. As for Red Guardian and Taskmaster, they've only appeared in the Black Widow solo film until now, so the Thunderbolts will be their big return to the screen. Now, let's talk vibes. The Thunderbolts have a bit of a similar feel to DC's Suicide Squad, but don't expect an R-rated version in the MCU. They're definitely going to be edgier than the Avengers, taking on missions that are a bit out of the ordinary superhero world. And about General Ross, sadly, William Hurt, who portrayed him in the MCU, passed away earlier. But there's still hope that Red Hulk could make an appearance somehow, whether through recasting or some clever storytelling. As for the bad guys they'll be facing off against, well, that's still a mystery. But one thing's for sure, fans have plenty to be excited about with their favorite characters coming together under the Thunderbolts banner. Now, let us move on to Thunderbolts storylines and comics that could be adapted now. Wolves in Sheep's Clothing Let's dive into a juicy piece of Thunderbolts history, their sneaky beginning. So at first, the Thunderbolts were introduced as this fresh team of heroes that nobody really knew much about. It all seemed legit, right? But then, in their very own comic series penned by Kurt Busiek, the big reveal happened. Turns out they were actually the masters of evil in disguise. Baron Zemo, Moonstone, Beetle, Screaming Mimi, Goliath, and Fixer were all using fake names and identities to trick their heroic foes. As the story unfolded, we saw these villains, especially Zemo, hatching schemes to conquer the world. Gradually, their true colors were exposed to the public, and each member had to wrestle with the question of whether they wanted to be good or bad. It's quite the roller coaster. Now, when it comes to the Thunderbolts movie, they could borrow some elements from Busiek's storyline. Maybe have some of the more shady characters pretending to be heroes while secretly plotting something sinister. Sure, there might be a bit of a challenge, since some of these characters have already had their heroic moments in the MCU, so they might need to introduce some fresh villainous faces to capture that comic book vibe. Dark Avengers Now let's take a peek at another intriguing possibility for the Thunderbolts and how they could fit into the MCU. The Thunderbolts could be introduced as a government-approved replacement for the Avengers, with folks like Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine or Secretary of State Ross as the masterminds behind it all. This setup could draw inspiration from Brian Michael Bendis' Dark Avenger storyline, another exciting team that's yet to make its debut in the MCU. In this scenario, some of our beloved characters could step into the shoes of established heroes. For instance, Abomination could take on the Hulk's role, and Yelena Belova could become the new official Black Widow. In the Dark Avengers comics, it's basically an evolution of the Thunderbolts, cooked up by Norman Osborn. They've got anti-heroes and villains adopting heroic identities. 
Moonstone becomes Miss Marvel, and Bullseye takes on the Hawkeye mantle. Sneaky, right? They're posing as heroes, but still up to their old villainous tricks. So it's quite likely that the MCU's Thunderbolts will have some connection to the government or an organization with not-so-noble plans, much like the Dark Avengers. Deal with the Devil Ah, the infamous Mephisto, the villain Marvel fans have been eagerly anticipating in Phase 4. It's been a bit of a treasure hunt, with folks speculating about his possible appearances in releases like WandaVision and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The next stop on the speculation train is the Werewolf by Night Halloween special, but guess what? Thunderbolts could also join the conversation. You see, Thunderbolts could take a dive into the supernatural, just like when they had Ghost Rider on the team during its second volume, written by Charles Soule. In that storyline, they made a rather intriguing deal with Mephisto. They agreed to bring him back from hell to Earth in exchange for his help in restoring their powers. It was quite a humorous and unexpected twist, especially with Deadpool in the mix. Secret Invasion It looks like Marvel is cooking up some long-lasting implications, even if Secret Invasion isn't exactly the massive crossover event we've seen in the comics, as Kevin Feige has mentioned. This could have a ripple effect on projects down the line, including Thunderbolts. In the comics, Christos Gage crafted a four-issue tie-in with Secret Invasion, where the team gets involved in the Skrull situation. But it's not all smooth sailing, there's some internal conflict going on. Norman Osborn is calling the shots, and he's playing up their heroics in the Skrull War to win public support, which sets the stage for the team's darker turn later on. He's weeding out those who don't support his plans, and it all eventually leads to the formation of the Dark Avengers. Now, in the MCU, Secret Invasion could serve as the foundation for putting together the Thunderbolts. Maybe they need to hunt down renegade Skrulls, and whether they're successful or not, they could become a more trustworthy replacement for the Avengers in the eyes of the public. Red Hulk and the Leader One popular theory is that it might be the Leader, a classic foe of the Hulk, and this idea goes way back to 2008's The Incredible Hulk. He could be a formidable adversary for the team, given his evil genius and strategic mind, but here's a twist. What if he starts out as a member of the team first? This could provide a unique opportunity to show his transformation into a full-fledged leader, drawing inspiration from the second volume of Thunderbolts. Now, because of the sad passing of William Hurt, it's unlikely we'll see Thunderbolt Ross's Red Hulk in the MCU. So instead, they could introduce General Robert Maverick, who becomes the second Red Hulk in the comics to take up that role. And as a nod to Ross, the team could even be named in his honor. Well, that's it for today make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Now, what are your thoughts on the Thunderbolts cinematic debut? And which storyline adaptation are you most excited to see? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.